Hey, what's going on everybody? We're over here in uh, Newberry Springs, California again today and uh, hanging out. <clears throat> Got about 30 minutes to kill and uh, then we'll be headed on over to where we're going with this load and uh, sorry, trying to multitask again. I'm not very good at it. View map. I was going to sit there and do its thing with the satellites so <clears throat> anyways that's the deal uh there's a little bit of water main damage there's a, like a, a broken water main over there here check this out look at there so there's like a broken water main up there by the where the bathrooms are and then all this water down here and uh nobody's working on it it's just sitting there bubbling up out of the ground you'd think in the desert That'd be a pretty, pretty serious issue. But Please drive to highlighted route. I guess not. So I can, did I set that thing back pretty good, pretty right? Yeah, huh. man, I'm getting good at this. But uh, let me see if it's wheeling. Eh, a little bit. That's better than nothing though. Anyway, so anyways, we're gonna go get this load delivered. Man, everybody's wearing masks. I don't have any masks. I wonder, I wonder if this deal is a little bit more serious than what I was hoping it would be. Either way, all right, so we got to get this load on, then we're going to reload, and then we're going to head east. So we will uh, holler at y'all. everybody over here on 40 headed east headed to nebraska and uh yep sitting in traffic in the middle of the road don't know what's going on because everybody's just yapping on the cb or again name calling you know the usual the usual suspects so this is us now just hanging out there's the mirror. Heck, I thought a couple of these trucks were gonna rear end one another. I don't know what in the world they were doing, but it got pretty, uh, pretty. Sorry about that. Got pretty excited, exciting there for a minute. I was thinking about running off in the shoulder the way they were piling up on one another and swerving and this and that. And I thought, golly, man, does anybody raise their head up anymore? Anywho, so. This is really about the only inconvenient thing that's happened to me since I left, so that's pretty good. I'll take them odds. But anyways, that's what's going on for now, guys. We will check y'all, oh, I don't know, plan on stopping.
stopping Winslow, getting some fuel and whatnot, taking a shower, but maybe we'll uh, get back with y'all around then. Right. See you later. Hey, what's up guys? We're over here in Tucumcari, New Mexico, sitting in line for a shower and uh, something had kind of crossed my mind that I wanted to talk to y'all about. We just rolled 121,000 miles on the truck and I wanted to show y'all my steer tires. So, sitting over here in the spot, get the hood rolled over. Oh yeah, looky here. My truck's like the bug reaper. Look at that, it's terrible. I'm pretty sure my truck has like had its own negative impact on the environment. So if you notice less flowers being pollinated this spring, sorry. The gum, I'm about to drop that dog on hood. Caught it with my leg though. Had my hand in there all jacked up. All right, so 121,000 miles, guys. And this right here is what the what it looks like. The only thing I can tell is that if you look, the inside of the tire seems to be outpacing the outside of the tire. That's all I can tell. And, and it's not irregular or anything. It just seems to be going a little faster. But there's still plenty of tread left on it and everything. And uh, I, I was going to bring my key out here to stick in there and show the tread depth. But I mean, and you really, really got to look at it to tell that this side here is wearing a little faster than this side here. I mean, you really got to look. I can just barely see it. So anyways, 120,000 miles. I mean, they still got the doggone little things on here right there. And uh, so if y'all remember my fuel filter experiment I was talking about, it's working good. This filter's got nearly 30,000 miles on it. And we still got, see right here is the change filter line. We still got uh, that much more filter to go. So anyways, but yeah, these, uh, these Michelin tires are just wearing exceptionally well. And uh, see, I was planning on swapping them at 100,000. I've never had a set of steers to go 100,000. I've always ran cheap nonsense. But see, let me see if you can, what, right down in there is the wear bar. And I'm still forever away from that. So my plan is to keep running it, you know, keep an eye on this right here. I could probably rotate them and these tires are directional. See, they got the arrow right there. I could probably dismount this tire just like it is and mount it on that side. That way it stays rotating the same, to what, the same way. And, uh, maybe correct some of this wear, but I get a little nervous about rotating steer tires. I don't know if it's a wives tell or not. It probably is, but I've heard that you go to rotating them, the belts get all funky in them and they'll blow out on you. I don't know how true that is, but 120,000 miles, man. I'm pretty, and, and, and yeah. I'd be satisfied with them if I got 120 out of them. But look, these middle, these middle grooves are outpacing these grooves just barely, but they're still there. I mean, it's crazy. So anyways, let's go back here and look at the drives. I know a guy with a truck similar to mine's got these same drive tires on his. He got 270,000 miles out of his drive tires. Or at this point, he has 270,000, or when I looked at it, and he's still running them. So, you know, that's 120,000 miles. Looks good. I run 105 in my tires. 105 pounds and I try to put a stick on them once a week. I don't always do it. A lot of times I do the old, yeah, sounds good test, which I know isn't accurate, but, uh, but anyway, so as soon as we get home and I don't know when that'll be, but whenever we get here, uh, here, y'all want to look at some more bugs real quick. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at this stack up here. Isn't that crazy? There's just bugs everywhere. So, and then right here, this dark spot, that's actually dried blood from where I picked up some roadkill or something. Anyways, this trailer's pretty hideous too. 
Looks like it hadn't been washed since Roosevelt was president. Anywho, so whenever I get home, I'm having the truck to put in the shop and I'm gonna have a whole bunch of PM stuff done to it. I need to, uh, you gotta use a feeler gauge. I wanna go around and have all the brake, brake adjustment checked. Gotta have the fan clutch checked for play and all this stuff. Just PM stuff that it's getting about time for because it's, you know, because of the mileage that's on it. So that's the dealio with that. And uh, not in a real big hurry, not anything that's particularly urgent but just something that you know i need to kind of stay on top of because i want to you know that's one of the nice things about having a new truck is you can you know you can wear it out with you you don't have to get hip deep in a whole bunch of stuff that somebody else has neglected so try not to neglect it try to get good service out of it as long as i possibly can and uh you know if i got to spend a couple of hundred dollars doing some pm stuff on it like the brake adjustments or whatever and the fan hub and so forth. I was just thumbing through my owner's manual and everything, trying to keep up on what needs to be done. And uh, then, you know, so be it. That's fine. This truck has given me really good service. Uh, 121,000 practically trouble-free miles. I wish there was some wood around here to knock on, but they ain't. But y'all just imagine me knocking on some wood. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to go out and come out here and uh, go over these steer tires. I'm in Tucumcari, New Mexico. I'm on my way to Nebraska. Uh, Try to stop and take a shower last night in Jamestown. That wasn't happening because I, there was a bad wreck on a uh, 40 Flagstaff yesterday. So, I mean, y'all know how that goes. But So I got here to Tucumcari and there's a line and I said, I don't give a crap. I don't care if I have to sit here till Thanksgiving. I'm taking a shower today. It's happening. And, uh, I'm still in line. Dead gum. So, anywho, that's what's going on. You know, these steer tires just, they look phenomenal. Here, let's go check out the other one. Yep, this one looks fantastic as well. And this one, you can kind of see the, the insides outpacing the outside a little bit, but that's all right, man. That's fine. These tires are wearing great. 120,000 miles on these steer tires. Man. If that won't make you a believer in a Michelin, I don't know what will. That's good. Unbelievable. You know, just a couple little, see these little tabs right here? Those have chunked out in a place, in a place or two. Nothing crazy. I ain't worried about that at all. That's pretty typical, you know. I probably just caught a rock or who knows what. Dry steering. You know, this truck is a little long, so sometimes I do find myself sitting, sitting still and spinning the wheel one way or the other try to avoid it but you know sometimes i don't have a choice so just kind of the price you pay having a long truck so that's what we're gonna do that's what we're looking at whenever i get home it'll probably go in the shop and get a little bit of pm stuff done to it and everything and i think i'm coming up at 180,000. i think i've got to have something done with the jake brakes i've got to pull the valve cover and have some assembly stuff checked on the jakes i think i'll have to recheck my owner's manual for that but Anyways, so that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. I hope y'all uh, enjoyed it. I know it's a little different than the usual, but I just didn't want to continue making time lapses of Interstate 40 for the rest of my life. So trying to come up with something a little different, but sorry the truck's in such a state of disarray, too. I sure would like it better if it was a little cleaner. I have not been staying up on my wiping down like I ought to be doing. Uh, as you can tell, it's quite atrocious and uh, pretty embarrassing. But hopefully, I'm hoping I'll be able to stop at the Petro up there in York, Nebraska and get it all, get it washed up real good, hopefully. We'll see what happens. So anyways, guys, y'all guys, uh, take it easy. Thanks for watching.